good morning to all of you today we will discuss about the classification of class mammalia class mammalia is broadly divided into two subclasses such as prototheria and theria the subclass prototheria is further divided into two infra classes such as metatheria and eutheria altogether there are 5416 species of mammals in 1229 genera according to the 2005 classification of the mammals we will see each of the subclasses one by one first is the subclass prototheria the prototheria subclass has only one order under it which is called as a order monotremata and the monotremata include a group of animals called as egg-laying mammals monotremes are considered as the most primitive of the mammals they have the egg-laying character they lay the eggs and the young ones are coming out of the eggs there are five species in three genus under the order, order, order monotremata and it is spread in two families out of the five species of monotremata four species are echidnas and one species is the platypus well these are some of the examples of the monotremates one is a short beaked echidna out of the four echidnas shown here two of them short now short beak echidna and the long beak echidna and the platypus there is only one species that is a duck billed platypus with regard to the distribution of the monotremes monotremes as a group are confined to the continent of australia the new zealand and part of the papua new guinea so those are the regions where you get monotremes the next infra class is infra class metatheria the infra class metatheria include the marsupials which are also called as post mammals in the past marsupials were grouped under a single order order marsupialia however as per the latest or the recent classification the marsupials are treated under seven different orders they are one is the order didelphimorphia didelphimorphians include a group of animals called as opossums and altogether there are 87 species of opossums in 17 genus under one family the second order of marsupials is order positubiculata which include a group of animals called as shoe opossums with six species in three genera and one family third order is order microbiotheria which has only one species under it which is called as Montio del Monte the fourth order is order Dasyuromorphia the Dasyuromorphians include a group of animals called as marsupial carnivores there are 71 species of marsupial carnivores in 22 genera in three families the fifth order of marsupials is the paramelimorphia the paramelimorphians include a group of animals called as bandicoots there are 69 species of bandicoots in 20 genus and three families the sixth order of metatherians are called as notorictimorphia the motor the notorictimorphians include a group of animals called as marsupial moles there are two species of marsupial moles in one genus and one family and the seventh and the last order of the metatherians are referred to as diprotodontia and the diprotodontians include group of animals such as kangaroos the wallabies the koalas etc and altogether there are 143 species of diprotodontians in 39 genus and 11 families well this is a pictorial depiction of some of the characteristic some of the examples of the marsupials 
in the world. A couple of things that comes to our mind when we talk about marsupials are that, you know, marsupials, we usually think that marsupials include only the kangaroos and we also have a feeling that you know, marsupials are confined to the corner of Australia. But the fact is that marsupials does not just include kangaroos alone as we have just now seen, they include a wide array of uh, different types of species, number one. And secondly, marsupials are not just confined to the continent of Australia, they are seen in the America also. So they are seen in the uh, South America, they are seen in the Central America, they are seen in the southern part of the North America also. So that's about the global distribution of the marsupials. Now, coming to the infraclass eutheria, infraclass eutherian has 21 orders. The eutherians are also referred to as the placental mammals. So, all the eutherians are characterized by the presence of placenta. Okay, so eutherians, the, the different orders of eutherians are one is the order Aphrosauricidae. The Aphrosauricidans include a group of animals called as Tenrex. The second order is order Macrosclididae. Macrosclidids include a group of animals called as Elephant Shrews. The third order of the Eutherian is called as Tubuli Dendeta. And Tubuli Dendeta include a group of animals. Actually, there is only one species under Tubuli Dendeta. That's the Aardwalk. The fourth order is order Hyracoidea. Hyracoidins include a group of animals called as Hyraxes. The fifth order is order Proboscidea. Proboscidians include the elephants. The sixth order is order Sirenia, which include the uh, oceanic mammals such as the uh, dugongs or sea cows. And the seventh order is called order Singuleta. And Singuleta include a group of animals called as Armadillo. The eighth order is called as order Pylosa. Pylosa include sloths and anteater. The ninth order of the Eutherians is called as Scandentia, and the Scandentians include a group of animals called as the tree shrews. The tenth order is called order Demoptera. Demoptera include a group of animals called as flying lemurs. The eleventh one is called as the primates. Primates include the monkeys, apes, lorises, and the close related animals. The twelfth order is called as order Rodentia, which include the rodents, which are basically the gnawing animals, such as the squirrels, the rats, the porcupines, etc. The thirteenth order is called the order Lagomorpha. Lagomorphins include a group of animals called as the rabbits and the hares. The fourteenth order is called as the order Ernosiomorpha. Ernosiomorphins include a group of animals called as the hedge hawks. The 15th order is called as order Sorikomorpha. The Sorikomorphians include the shrews and the moles. The 16th order is called the order Chiroptera. Chiropterans include the consist of the bats, which are the only flying mammals in the world. The 17th order of the placentales are referred to as Folidota. And the Folidotans include the scaly anteaters or the pangolins. The 18th order is referred to as the uh, order carnivora. Carnivores include the flesh eating animals, the various examples include the tigers, the leopards, the lions, the, and the kind. The 19th order of the placental mammals is referred to as the uh, order perisodactyla. Perisodactyls include the odd toed angulates. So the perisodactyls, uh, which include the odd toed angulates, whereas the osteodactyls, which is the 20th order, that include the even toed angulates. So when the perisodactyls has only one toe or odd number of toes, the osteodactyls has even number of toes. And the last order is the order Cetacea, which again is a marine mammal group such as the 
the dolphins, the porpoises, the whales and the like. So in nutshells, there are 29 orders of mammals under the, uh, under the class mammalia, out of which 21 are metatherian uh, mammalian orders and out of these 21 metatherian orders, 14 orders are represented in India. Okay, the first order is order Afrosauricidae. Afrosauricidians basically they include two groups of animals. One is called the golden moles, and other is called the tenrec. Altogether, there are 51 species of Afrosauricidians all over the world in 19 genera and two families. As a as a group, Afrosauricidians are confined to the continent of Austria, the continent of Africa. So they are seen in the Africa and the adjacent island of Africa called the Madagascar. This is an example of uh, one of the representative of Afrosauricidian which is called the Tenrec. And the next one is another example of Afrosauricidians which is called the Golden Mole. Since Afrosauricidians are not seen within the geographic limit of India, we are not going to the further details of Afrosauricidians. The second order of the Placendales is the order Macrosclididae. Macrosclidids include a group of animals called as the elephant shows. Altogether, there are 15 species of Macrosclidids or the elephant shows all over the world in four genus or four genera and in one family. Macrosclerids are again confined to the continent of Africa. They are seen in the central, southern, eastern Africa and also part of the northwestern Africa. Many of the species of Afrosauricidians are threatened, are globally threatened animals. There are this is one of the examples of Afrosauricidians. It's called a checkered sengi, and the other one is another example, which is called the rufous sengi. So this is how the uh, macrosclerids look like, the elephant shows look like. The third order of placentales is the order Tubulidendata. Tubulidendata include only a single species is a very unique order to the with respect to the fact that there is only a single species in the whole of the order tubulidin data which is called the artwork there is something very unique about artwork which is that this is the first animal to appear in the english dictionary you can notice the spelling of the artwork it goes like you know a a r so you know since the two a's coming together this happened to the first animal that is there in the English dictionary. And tubulidin data or the artwork is also an animal that is confined to the continent of Africa. And that's how the artwork look like very, very you know, typical and unmistakable species with a pointed snout and pig like nose, etc. It's a, basically, it's a nocturnal animal. The next order is the order Hyracoidean. The Hyracoidians include a group of animals called as the Hyraxes. The Hyracoidians again are a group of animals that are confined to the continent of Africa. There are four species of Hyraxes in the world, and three genera, all in one single family. We will see some of the examples of hyraxes. That's the rock hyrax. You now, one of the typical, one of the character of hyraxes is that you know they're confined mostly to the rocky areas in Africa. Again, no, since we don't have any hyraxes within the geographic limit of India, we are not going to the details of further details of hyraxes.